Um, I'd like to introduce our next speaker for the symposium, Yu Momo Ida, who is an internationally recognized leading Japanese architect and lecturer at the Faculty of Design, Kyushu University. He graduated from the Yokohama Graduate School of Architecture and it's before establishing the Yu Momo Ida Architects office in Fukuoka, Japan. In 2014, he worked in the office of Kengo Tuma and Associates. In 2019, he was awarded a Canadian Centre for Architecture Find and Tell Program Residency to investigate and develop new insights into Shoyo's work by engaging with the archival materials held at the CTA. He has expertise in parametric design, fractal geometries, and traditional Japanese timber systems. Please welcome Yuno Nogida. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Yumomoeda. Thank you for inviting me for this great opportunity. Drawing closer to nature is the theme I wrote about Japanese architect Shoei Yo's archive in CCA. Before presentation, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm a Japanese ar architect based in Kyushu, where Shoei Yo architect based also. I, op I opened my office in 2014. This is my first architecture project, Agri Chapel. Fractal wooden structure is a unique character of this project. This is an installation project bottomless window which makes gradation between outside and inside. Then four years ago, I had the opportunity to meet and talk with Yo for the first time. And in 2000, 2019, April, the CCA had requested my services as a respondent, respondent in the capacity of a young architect who has been influenced by Yo's architecture. Today, I would like to take this opportunity to note that and reveal the enormous amount of passion that Yo infused into design. I'm interested in geometrical, fractal, scaleless space in architecture. I could be influenced by Shoei Yo's project in these three keywords. I started studying architecture in Kyushu, Japan in the beginning. I remember being amazed at the level of conceptual abstraction in Yo's works while leafing through the pages of magazines. Later on, I had the chance to see some of the, his projects, most of which are located in Ogunimachi, Kumamoto Prefecture. I was moved by the tangibility of the materials, details, and structure of his creations. Joe began his career in interior and product design. He eventually transitioned to design public facilities such as houses, gymnasium, and community centers. His output evolved from cubic inter interior-like objects to architecture spaces that blend perfectly into their surrounding environments. Yo gave, gave the street name Elastic Architecture to his architecture works of this period and the CCA holds a section of these projects. So, through the volume and diversity of the archive, Archi archival holdings, I could deeply feel the urgent drive with which Shoei Yo architects pursued elastic architecture. I, sh I show these three projects today. This project is about Galaxy Toyama Gymnasium, Toyama, Japan. Galaxy Toyama's distinctive free form roof was de designed to be an optimized structure solution. It was inspired by and developed using a photoelasticity stress analysis technique introduced by the structure engineer Gengo Matsui, who also collaborated with Yo on his Ogunimachi Dome project. Galaxy Toyama features a complex double curved surface that was functionally designed to accom accommodate snow accumulation. A3 binders contain stress analysis drawing and photographs of a counter model made with mesh materials. Framing documents feature a great number of figures that cloud an axonometric roof to indicate, indicate thicknesses at different points. These drawings were drawn by hand following the results of a computer analysis. Moreover, the built Model played a 
crucial role in providing a physical representation of the stress analysis. Yo once mentioned that he was influenced by the approximation of shadows ju juxtaposed by photoelasticity patterns projected by the model. The expect excitement he felt can be sensed as you leaf through the many pages of images, images that capture the roof, casting shadows from different angles. The perspec perspective upward from within the space of the roof motivated the title of the project Galaxy. The space immediately under the roof is not meant to be one, one that can be inhabited. However, you designed it as a geometrical realm. He had printed out a large number of perspectives and, and now these images in the ar archive suggest that, that the mod modeling served as a tool to understand not only the design but also the experiment, experiential quality of the space. These are amazing studies that show your architect took to create an un unprecedented pan panorama during the early 1990s. Next project is Glass Station, Ogni, Japan. The Glass Station, located in Ogni, Kumamoto Prefecture, consists of a bold concrete structure made of keel arches and a fireproof glass membrane roof that fills the spaces between the framework. The offices, offices of Harada Concrete, the client who commissioned the design of Glass Station, are across the street so that, together with the surrounding natural landscape, the two structures serve as a gateway to the, to the town of Ogni. Structure analysis show that the shape of the free-form roof surface is structurally optimized. Structure analysis show that... Oh, sorry. The roof framing plans show many handwritten figures indicating heights at different points of the glass surface, which were colored in using a blue, light blue colored pencil, making for a set of beautiful organic drawings. The archive materials also feature photographs that record, record the different stages of the glass station's construction. It is impressive to see how concrete was poured into a carved wooden frame <coughs> formwork to build the structure over 30 years ago. When I was a university student in 2004, I had a part-time job making models at the construction site of Green Green designed by Toyota and Associates. It was a chance for me to see first-hand <laughs> hand how difficult it is to build Freeform concrete structures. It is in incredible that more than a decade pri prior, a small design office managed to band together with a local constructor to accomplish this difficult task in the countryside of Kyushu. Reading some of the faxes that were exchanged between the architecture firm and the collaborators about Various, various design and construction processes was a most thrilling experience. I also found sketches showing an inversion of window organization as a strategy to increase rigid, rigidity over the roof surface. All these records make it possible to imagine how a large team of experts a construction office, membrane manufacturers, building builders with advanced concrete waterproofing techniques, glass construction specialists collaborated to effect, <coughs> erect the glass station. Next project is Naiju Community Center and Nursery School, Fukuoka, Japan. 
When I went to see there around 2005, it was still standing without any function. The nice community center resembles a handkerchief placed over a tall object, much like Shiro Kuramata's K-series lamps, which Yo himself once mentioned had been an, in an influence on him. During an interview with the design staff around the time the structure was built, it was mentioned that Yo himself had probably come up with the idea after seeing how freely a grid of bamboo sticks could be manipulated. The structure is paired with concrete to reinforce its structural integrity and create a single three-dimensional object. Yo appeared to have been more interested in this process than in than its resulting shape. Since Yo began his career design, designing products and interior spaces, it seems fitting to consider the connection between his characteristically bold structures and smaller scale products such as lamps. In recent years, some of the three-dimensional forms most often used by architectural design firms include elements inspired by exci exciting popular industrial design creations. Yo's concrete shelled bamboo handkerchief, which came to li life some 20 years after Kuramata's K3 lamps, it is a testimony to the different differences between the product and architecture structure made or the more apparent by the significant gap between the techniques and time required, required to craft each. Once the concrete had been poured into a crane sus suspended bamboo framework, a great number of iron reinforcing, reinforcing bars, bars were inserted into the amor amorphous concrete surface to enable the structure's appearance, as, it, as if it were floating against gravity. In interacting with nature through parametric thinking, the records contain few sketches drawn by Yo himself. A possible explanation could be that he, <coughs> he may have fav favored a parametric approach to architecture, that is, he worked <coughs> by setting pa param parameters and establishing links between actions. Architectural forms were determined by inco incorporating local materials and conditions as con const constraints. For instance, Yo used forest sinking timber for the Ogni Dome, took snow load into consideration when design designing Galaxy Toyama, and using locally grown bamboo in the framework formwork for the Naiju community centers. The architectural fo forms were ultimately determined by incorporating materials and conditions specific to each location and as parameters. Studying nature, imitating nature, drawing closer to nature, these are words you used to capture Galaxy Tournament's design. As a Kyushu-based architect, you gave the name of elastic architecture to this Relentless quest. <clears throat> it was based on back and forth dialogue rather than a on confrontation between man and nature, and which freely flows between the digital and the analog. Center of the world, I saw you in person for the first time four years ago at the university lecture he was giving. It was the first time I had the chance to hear him and what he said felt new and different. Towards the end of the question and answer period, I addressed him, every creation of your, <coughs> yours make a fundamental strength and in integrity. You have decided to base, <coughs> to base your activities in Fukuoka, a minor city. How far removed do you feel from the, wor from the world? His reply was point blank. 
You must think of yourself as the center of the world. You stand at the top of the watershed, and water flows from there. I keep these yours words in my mind as an architect based in Kyushu. Thank you for hearing me. <clears throat>